Martine, I mean, I know you and I were talking when we were in Miami just last week, and you were telling me, you know, how much this organization means to you. We spoke about Brian McCann. You were telling me that McCann really taught you how to play the game the right way. And, um, I mean, what is it like for you when you get to come back here? And I know Atlanta will always have a special place in your heart. Well, you know, like, uh, it's, it's kind of like they, they literally saw something in me that maybe nobody else did, you know. Um, starting for the guy that just went to Venezuela, saw me a couple times, just give me a shot to play in, in the ga this game. And, and then I went to DR to play summer league for like two years and then just working my process, my way up and, and uh, just in my in that process I met so many wonderful people. Yeah. People that taught me how to respect the game, how to play the game the right way. And besides that, there's so many coaches, so many people, front office people, uh, there's people outside the field like that is so receptive of they involve they they involve themselves so much in the game that it, it make you understand why they they are so passionate about the game. So uh, along the way, I had I had Sneaker as my manager. Uh, I don't I don't think there's a better guy to be a manager for the Atlanta Braves than him. Uh, he waited never never doubted himself. Uh, you know that they how able to to be a manager in the big leagues and. Guys that we play for him, like myself, uh, I, I was like, I couldn't be happier when he got the the call and, and, and to be able to be the manager for the Atlanta Braves. Like, it couldn't be a better guy. Uh, and I'm really happy for him. And, and I'm pretty sure that guys that play for him is the same way I, I felt when I played for Bobby Cox. You talk about how happy you were for him when, when he got the call. And I know that now you're on an opposing team, so you don't necessarily want to see the Braves doing well. But how happy were you for Brian Snicker personally? I mean, just watching him win the division. I know you would have liked, you know, but what that moment for him after 42 years in the organization to be at the, the head of that NL Manager of the Year, made an all-star coach this year, just the, the accolades he's gotten. Well, let me put it this way. If you waited 42 years to be a manager of Atlanta Braves, it's because in your heart you knew you were able to do that, you know? Uh, and, and the respect that I have for him is because he never pretend to do something out of the box to make, you know, the front office understand I can be the manager. No, he just waited. I was like, I do whatever they want me to do. He's a guy willing to just talk you know to the young kids and just let him play but at the same time he can be you know he can just say hey you you have to do this the right way and you know and, and unfortunately like we don't have more guys like that you know in baseball so uh, just the fact that he uh, I mean like I know I'm on the other side but when you meet like when you meet people like that and just kind of you just switching it doesn't matter what they do uh, you just want them to do good and, and, and be success you know and, and you and I were also talking in Miami and you said look I'm not surprised that the Braves have been able to do this to build what they've built to have the success that they've had because you were a part of the organization and you watched how they operate but how impressive I mean really is this this Braves team that they've put together even battling all these injuries recently uh, you know like injuries uh, they're part of the game you know uh, um, uh, you know I'm myself I've been part of the injury list in the last two years so uh, just when you have a guy that plays every day like Freeman and then you just kind of like build around that guy, a guy that just come to the field every day, play the game, he play the game the right way, he respect the game. So and then you build this team around him and then you got talented guys like Acuna, like Avi, guys that just kind of like, they're so exciting to watch. And uh, Always the Braves has been a system where they have pitching, pitching in the minor league system. So uh, now they just, they lost that for a little bit and then they rebuild and they just load it, like load the minor league system. And that's how you build teams in the long term, you know, like I, I truly believe in uh, whatever you do, you have to build like a really good base, you know, like if you got to uh, build like a, like a building and then you have to make sure that the base is good. <laughs> Because it's 
if it doesn't just it's not gonna support all the way and all the stuff and I think like teams like the Braves team like Houston team like they just so good along the way is because it has so many good players in the minor league system they they can do the same job if somebody goes down somebody get hurt uh, and and uh, and and in this side, I know, and the, the new ownership, the the new president on the Miami Marlins is 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 they see this, they see like teams that have been winning for so many years, and then he came from the Yankees, and all they believe is let's build a good, a good base and and we go from there. Well, Martin, first of all, I know you're a busy man, so thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Secondly, I know you'll always respect. Atlanta and the Braves, and I know I've told you this before, but Braves country will always respect you. They always love whenever they can see you, be around here, and they even cheer for you when you have success here. But thank you again so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Braves country, Martin Prado joining us today, but we'll get it back to you guys at the set.